Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, April 16th, 2023. It is 6.24 in the morning. Okay, this is part two, part four, chapter one, Paul. Paul learned to debate and question an answer, an answer style known in the ancient world as the diatribe and to expound for a rabbi was not only part teacher, preacher, but part lawyer who prosecuted or defended those who brought or who broke the sacred law. Paul outstripped his contemporaries. He had a powerful mind which could lead to a seat on the Sanhedrin in the Hall of Polished Stones and make him a ruler of Jews. Saul lived for the day he would become a member of the Jewish Supreme Court and called then the Sanhedrin. Together, those 71 men ruled over Jewish life and religion, seated on curved benches in a courtroom, precisely the place where they heard Stephen deliver his brave yet fateful confession of faith. Saul, now a successful lawyer in the bustling courts of Jerusalem, was most likely part of the larger audience who heard Stephen's defense. Little did he realize then how God would use the events leading up to and following the young disciple's death to change his life dramatically and impact the story of religious history. Okay, so that is all for part two, part four, chapter one, Paul. Thank you for watching.